Brace yourself for some exciting or should I say concerning news. Well that depends on how you look at it. Because OpenAI just announced ChatGPT plugins, a way for ChatGPT to interact with the real world. This new feature allows GPT-4 to access new information that it didn't have before, like real-time or recent news happenings. Which means it's no longer burdened by that 2021 training data cutoff and that should mostly prevent it from hallucinating random information. This feature can not only search for current information, but it can also provide you with the source to verify on your own. The web browser plugin allows ChatGPT to finally read from the internet. This mind-blowing demo shows a question being asked to ChatGPT, but with an interesting twist. It not only shows the answers, but also the steps and sources taken to get there. And that should mostly prevent it from hallucinating random information like it currently does. Apart from that, what's more crazy is ChatGPT now has its own sandbox code execution environment. Although currently, this code interpreter plugin only runs Python, this takes ChatGPT one step further for it to write code that it can then run and execute as well as debug all on its own. This is more like having access to a very eager junior programmer working at the speed of your fingertips that can make completely new workflows effortless and efficient, as claimed by OpenAI themselves. This demo by OpenAI shows various use cases of the code interpreter. One of them shows the CSV file being uploaded and understood. ChatGPT is able to perform data analysis and create visualizations from the file just by simple prompts without a line of code even being written. Another demo shows an image being uploaded and described. Then ChatGPT is able to make modifications to the size and color of the image and just edit it in whatever way you want it to, which the user can then download without a line of code even being explicitly written. I mean damn, are you seeing this? OpenAI also released the Retrieval plugin, which could put a lot of consultants out of business. This allows organizations to upload their own personal company data like internal documentation, emails, code, and more to a vector database and make them searchable by ChatGPT. So basically, this allows ChatGPT to easily obtain documents and bits from a knowledge base, including your own. OpenAI has basically created a plugin app store, so ChatGPT can use these third-party plugins. For example, this demo here shows ChatGPT using multiple plugins in one prompt. It uses the OpenTable plugin to find a vegan restaurant in San Francisco on Saturday as well as get a simple recipe for vegan food to have on Sunday. It then uses the Wolfram Alpha plugin to calculate the calories for the recipe and finally uses the Instacart plugin to order the ingredients. So it's literally doing everything for you in just a matter of few prompts. From suggesting a restaurant to providing you with information about the ingredients of a particular food item and then actually ordering the ingredients required to prepare it. That's insane. And in order to create a new plugin, all someone has to do is build an API, then generate a file documenting your API with the proper specification standard required by OpenAI and then upload it. In short, you're literally just telling ChatGPT what the API is used for. And that's it. ChatGPT will figure out the rest in a matter of moments. Now this basically allows multiple plugins or APIs to be combined together to provide all the information you need in a single chat-like interface. This raises the question, do we even need user interfaces anymore in the future? We might have many APIs working together with just one universal chat interface. And if a simple chat interface can provide all the necessary information, then is front-end development going to be required anymore? As a front-end developer, I hope that's not true. What we might be witnessing here is the start of a next generation app store. If that's true, there's going to be a huge opportunity for developers to get in early just like when the Apple App Store opened in 2008. Now this is the fourth release OpenAI has had this month alone and it is huge. So should you be excited or concerned about these rapid advancements in AI? Well, only time will tell. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and as usual, stay tuned for more.